Hey guys, welcome to my channel Makeup Simplified. In this video today, I am going to do this whole face of makeup using only drugstore products. So follow along. Okay, we're gonna start with the skincare. I'm using the L'Oreal Revital Lift Hyaluronic Acid Serum. So I haven't done any skincare other than my essence. So I'm just topping it off with some serum. The serum is hydrating without weighing your skin down and it's a good drugstore buy. Next we have the Nutritional Hydro Boost Water Gel with Hyaluronic Acid in Okay, I'm applying this on my face. Again, it is a gel-like formulation, so it's great if you have oily skin. It's extremely lightweight, very comparable to the Belief Aqua Balm. It goes really well under makeup and it doesn't pill on the skin. It is fast absorbing as well, so it's perfect for summer days. Next, we're gonna go with the NYX eyeshadow primer. This eyeshadow base is extremely good and it helps to keep your eyeshadow in place. I will dab it with my fingertips so it just spreads evenly onto the lids. It's quite comparable to the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Potion Primer. Alright, so in today's video, I am going to be using this Morphe Khaki Calling Palette. I'll start with this shape. I'm going over the crease with this color. Now I'm blending most of the color on the crease and then buffing it out as I go. This will help me create a nice base for the color that I'm going to be using next that's going over my outer crease. Always go between the two sides comparing the right to the left or vice versa and just go away from the mirror a little bit to get an idea of how symmetrical it looks. Always spend good enough time trying to buff those eyeshadows because then it will look really beautiful, really dramatic as well. Now the next one, I'm going to go with a little bit of the brown shade. Now I'm using a smaller blending brush to apply this brown shade in the outer corner of my eyes, creating a V shape. Now you can pull it out as much as you want because you, then you're going to buff it with a large blending brush. I've gone with a neutral olive green color from the same palette over my lids. I tried applying this with a color brush but for some reason I just was not able to get the pigment to show so I ended up using my fingertips to apply it and it worked really well. For the eyeliner, I'm using the NYX Matte Liquid Liner Vegan Long Lasting Black Eyeliner. It's only $7.50 but man, it delivers like better than a high-end eyeliner. The brush is thin and it molds really well to your lid. It dries matte and lasts quite a long time. Now it can be a little bit tough to get it off because it's a matte long lasting eyeliner but something a cleansing balm would easily remove. Always start the liner with small thin strokes and build it up to the intensity you like. When doing the other eye, constantly compare the two sides to get the length width shape correct. I'm going to use a Q-tip and dip it in micellar water and just clean up the edges. This trick also helps you to fix any eyeliner mishaps. So for the mascara, I have my always favorite L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara. This one has been a favorite for a really long time. Like I've tried so many high-end brands but the lift and curl with this mascara looks absolutely stunning. For the primer, I'm going with the NYX Professional Makeup Bright Maker Primer Base. So this is a brightening primer, so I'm going to apply it all over my face. They have a variety of different primers, and all of their primers are so good. Like, I've tried most of them. There's one for oily skin. I can't remember its name. It's, it's really good, but I'm going to link it down to If you have oily skin, you can go for that primer. While my primer sets, I'm going to use the NYX Brow Pencil. It's the Micro Brow Pencil. My shade in it is Ash Brown. Eyebrows, I like the natural look. Nothing OTT about it. I usually just fill the sparse areas. I don't do entire brow routine or anything. Just like to keep it super simple, super clean, and nothing, no odd shapes over there. This looks and feels a lot like the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Viz. It's, it's really good quality. I believe it's like $10 for one. And for the price, you're getting something really good. I'm going to be setting this up with the NYX Brow Setter, another NYX product that is very, very comparable to some really good luxury brands. 
My eyebrow hair tend to droop as they are heavy, so this brow setter helps to keep it in place. All right, then I'm gonna go with the highlighter under my brow bone. I'm using a color from the same palette. It's the shade It's Me, which is a shimmery, almost frosty green color. And blend it again. Doing some color correction with the cult favorite LA Gold Pro Conceal. I'm applying it under my eyes and I'm also going to apply it around my mouth. You really need just a small quantity of it. Do apply it to any areas that need concealing or if you know that there are like gray shadows or pigmentation. Honestly, I think I ended up using a little bit too much in this case and you really don't need as much because then I had to blend it out quite a bit. You really just need just a few dabs. Next, we also have this most loved drugstore concealer, the e.l.f. Camo Concealer. My shade is medium sand and this wand really reminds me of the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I'm applying it around my mouth, doing the lift near the lips and also near my eyes. Now I had to go in with a little bit extra concealer because remember earlier I accidentally applied a little too much color corrector so to cover it up I had to apply a little more concealer. But you know things like that can happen and you just try to do some amendments to it. In this case once I started blending it with the beauty blender you can't see the color corrector underneath so it worked out okay for me. Another option would be to lighten up the color corrector further and then go in with the concealer which would work fine as well. Make sure to always blend it upwards even around the eyes and around the mouth because that's what is going to give you that lifted appearance to your face. Don't forget the area around your nostrils because that's where you will see the bare skin and that wouldn't look flattering at all. For the foundation, I'm applying the NYX Total Control Pro Drop Foundation. My shade is medium olive. What I like about this foundation is that it's buildable from sheer to full coverage. You just have to use more drops for more coverage. I would recommend to use only a few drops to begin with and if you feel the need for more coverage then you can add more foundation to it. It's always easier to apply more foundation if needed but it's hard to take it off so just go with the easy hand and build up as you like. I'm gonna go with the bronzer next. I'm using the L'Oreal Lumi Bronzer in shade medium. I'm gonna just do the bronzer today because I really don't wanna do the whole contour face look. I'm applying it under my cheekbones and I also applied a little bit on my forehead to give it some dimension and also underneath my jawline. This overall will give you a sculpted look as well as some warmth to your face in general. Make sure to blend all of this well so there are no harsh lines remaining. Alright, so I'm gonna set this all under my eyes using a setting powder. Now that I've finished most of my face, I'm gonna go back under my eye and using this brown shade from the same palette, I'm gonna define my lower lashes and blend it with a firm smudging brush. And pull it inwards. Again, go back and forth between the two sides and step a little away from the mirror to get a perspective to compare the two sides. By the way, I also did apply fake lashes already. I just went off camera and did it. The smudging brush helps to smudge the colors well to create a beautiful smoky look. I'm going to take a little bit of this green shade right here. I'm lining the same lower lashes with the green shade and buffing it out using the same smudger brush. You could also mix the two colors and blend it out together. And for the lower lashes, I'm applying the Rumel Mascara, the Wonder Extension Mascara. This mascara's wand works really well for the lower lashes as it is thin, so it helps to get the lashes separated. Now I'm just gonna go and wipe the excess powder off. The blush I'm using... Milani Blush Baked Powder Blush in Jade Luminoso. It's a peachy coral blush and it suits Indian skin tone very much. What I like about it is it also has a little bit of shimmer to it. However, if you do have a lot of large open pores, they may look prominent. I have highlighted using the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Glotion Natural Glow Enhancer in shade medium which is perfect for dusky skin tone. Since it's a liquid formula I would blend it using my fingertips instead of using a brush so the products underneath don't and finally we have the lipstick. I'm using the Revlon Super Lustrous Lipstick. This is a nude shade. This particular nude shade is very pretty on Indian skin tones. It's the shade called Pick Me Up. It's the matte collection by Revlon Super Lustrous Lipsticks. 
And I'm going to top it up with the Maybelline Lifter Gloss. This is the shade Petal. It's a beautiful pink shade. It's non-sticky and very hydrating and it's the perfect rose pink color. And I'm setting the makeup with the NYX Dewy Finish setting spray. Guys, let me know in the comments below how you like these drugstore products and this look I created with drugstore products. If you like any particular drugstore products, please mention in the comment box below. I would really love to try them. Also, do tag me on Instagram at make.up.simplified. If you purchase any of the products that I have recommended, take a moment to subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so you get notified of all the content that I post on YouTube. Bye!